Uh, going over to the business blunder of the day, you have Solo Stove, Snoop Dogg commercial, so bad it backfires and the CEO ends up losing his job. Now, this comes to us thanks to Now News from Morgan Dwell. They note that Solo's or Solo Stove CEO job goes up in smoke after viral Snoop Dogg campaign backfire. Which, again, this is one of those things where the company's been in a little trouble for a while. They sell a glorified stove for, I think it's like $1,000. Which, again, you can get an oil drum for, like, nothing, basically. But, nevertheless, it's a luxury product, or it's a fancy... In terms of the engineering and the, the design, it looks pretty good. Basically, think Apple, but fire pit. So, big metal... Basically, half a tank. Big metal glorified basket. And they paid Snoop Dogg... I think they're... I'm pretty sure they're still privately... It's, it's not the biggest company, but I think they are still private. Uh, let me see here. Let me ask you the, uh, let's see here. The Solo Stove, due to campaign 2011, Kickstarter, went public in 2021 as Solo Brands. Really? Okay. Let's see here. Solo Brands stock. Oh, that's not great. Oh, that's not great. That's worse. Yeah, so, uh, yeah, definitely not surprised with the result. So, quick history of their stock. Looks like, in terms of the max stock, they IPO'd in 2021 at $18.36 per share. Their stock is down 83.5% all time. The past, again, let me see here, 2021. Was it 2000? Yeah, 2021. So the five-year trend, which again is not the whole five, hasn't been that long, but five-year trend on the stock ticker is negative 83.5%. In the past years, negative 26.1%. Year to date, again, it's only a couple of weeks, is down 49.25%. Which I know public schools are all time low for pretty much everything. Maybe we say the teachers. But yeah, the teachers unions, they, they want more money, fascinatingly enough. So we will add some more value than some public schools in the United States, as sad as it might sound. It is actually true. But if that means the stock is down 49.25%. That means it's lost about half of their value. We've now concluded our lesson in mathematics today, which is more accurate than some of the teachers these days, though we know they're also pushing other ideologies as well. And the, the six month trend is down negative 43.99%. Past month is negative 44%. Five day trend is down 12.93%. And let's see their sales. September, 2023, their revenue was 110.32 million. Net income was 4.13 million. Uh, let's see here. And again, they were, looks like they're they're in the pit for a while, so to say. Now, again, they paid Snoop Dogg. I was hopefully we'll see the actual dollar amount in the in the near future. But Snoop Dogg ain't cheap, and for some products, I guess it makes sense for him. I, there's a cultural fascination with Snoop Dogg, where I believe his main brand, why he's so famous, is is had a lifetime of being just inebriated by smoking the devil's lettuce, as some might call it and rapping every once in a while and doing commercials for Bic. And for some products, it makes sense, I guess. Like, when you have Bic, where you sell lighters, lighters are used to light mostly tobacco and non-tobacco related products, to have someone whose whole brand is to just get high all day, you would, I suppose, he doesn't need some type of lighter. Why not have it be some French lighter? So, I guess that makes sense, and in that case, I would guess it would boost sales since people who need lighters, not all the time, but many times would be associated with Snoop Dogg and his activities. So in that way, that makes more sense. In terms of a luxury fire pit, though, just on its face, it sounds like a bad idea because think of fire pits. They're going to be used for what? Family activities, camping, outings, sitting around roasting marshmallows. You're not necessarily forcing yourself to become inebriated by tolerating, I just know some people enjoy it, illegal substances. And again, I would say, I would actually argue the fire pit's more, fam again, family-oriented, friends, public gatherings, and I would suppose you only need one or two at Burning Man. Now, again, this is also a very much a luxury product. Big lighters are, what, under a dollar per unit or something like that? It's easy to move those products because the barrier to buying it is very little. Consumers don't really need to think, can I justify this lighter? It's a disposable product. That, well, it's not intended to be refilled. I'm sorry. I'm sure you could, but actually, no, single-use design. Ne nevertheless, this is a product where 
it's I believe over a thousand dollars for these things. Let me pull it up really quick in terms of the price points for this magical stove. Let's see here, solos. Let me see here, the solo stove official website. And again, it's not even a stove that you can put in the kitchen. Nevertheless, this alleged solo stove. It looks like they have many, many options. So they looks. Oh, geez, Louise, you go to their website. Oh, ten percent off. Ooh. It barely gets rid of the government stealing from you at 8.25% sales tax in my state. Now, they have many models, which are moderately, eh. At least they did give them kind of interesting names. They call them the Bonfire, the Yukon, the Canyon, the Ranger. All right. And it looks like they, I'm trying to see if you, I mean, they got some stands you can buy. All right, so I thought it was $1,000. Still not a bargain. It looks like they, the smallest one starts at $279.99. Actually, if I just sort by dollar amount. The Canyon 2.0 is $599.99. Jeez Louise. So, looks like they have... Their website's... It's not great. It's complicated. They have a lot of products. They're expanding the categories, which... I guess, very much like any coolers, they start off as an individual tumbler. Or no, actually, actually, they start off as a luxury cooler company but then they started expanding more and more now they even have like dog bowls and baggages so it makes sense to expand your brand because loyal consumers will buy, want to buy more and more but let's see backyard fire pit i just want to find their signature thing and sort it by Jeez louise what the heck is this they have a wedge square this is the most boring name i've ever heard of is this a government job okay the one of the most expensive things they have before we get back to the article from solo stove is the wedge square Again, where's the inspiration here? It's called Wedge Square Bioethanol Fire Pit. Which, I guess it does describe it to a, a dot, but the other ones have cool names like Ranger, Canyon. They're named after, I'd actually argue those are more effective because they're named after camping places, which is, but this looks like more of a home product. That's $1,099.99. I guess they do give you a coupon, but remember you have to ship this heavy behemoth of a product as well as pay a sales tax on it. And, yeah, that looks like the most expensive product. That looks like, and they're very much large. These, so it's, I guess you could argue it's moderately portable for the traditional, what they call the Bonfire 2.0. The Yukon 2.0. No, the Bonfire 2.0 has the most reviews. That's two forty nine ninety nine. dollars 99 Jeez Louise. Which, again, that's so... You get to these price points, and it's no longer an impulse buy. And again, going back to the lighter metaphor, where that I think that is a profitable endeavor to pay Snoop Dogg whatever they pay him for him to have be a brand ambassador for that product makes sense. He uses it probably every minute of the day, and it's something that's disposable. It's a dollar. These are these are hundreds and even two thousand dollars. This is something where you have to put into the family budget. You have to really think about it. And again, I don't see the same people who enjoy camping and being cognitive, being a big fan of Snoop Dogg. I know he has lots of fans. He's one of the most successful rappers and entrepreneurs out there in that regard. And his net worth is probably a couple millions of dollars. Now, going back to this article, they say that the ad which included a rapper posting a vague message on his Instagram to tell followers he's given up smoke. Oh yeah, that was a, that was a terribly hilarious one. Because of course, he would never give up his main brand identity, which is being inebriated by smoking. So of course he would never give up smoke, but they're saying it's a smokeless fire pit. So it went viral in November. They, hey, I'm not alone in this assessment. So they say, quote, the ad which included the rapper posting a vague message on Instagram to tell his followers he's given up smoke went viral in November, leaving fans scratching their heads, wondering if he's, wondering whether the weed icon was actually going to quit ca smoking cannabis. Unfortunately, stunt bring, the stunt didn't bring in the money Solo Brands was hoping for, resulting in the ouster of the company's CEO, president, and brand and director of the board, John Maris. They continue to say, quote, Solo Brands has had to adjust its financial expectations for the fiscal year 2023, predicting lower revenue. The company's interim CFO, Andrea Tarbox, said in a press release, quote, while our unique marketing campaign raised some brand awareness of the Solo Stove to an expanded and new audience of consumers, it did not lead to the sales lift we had planned, unquote. Now, it looks like the former Vista Outdoor CEO, Christopher Metz, has announced as Solo Brands' new president CEO, and will be taking place, actually took place a couple days ago, January 15th. So again, there's a huge delta between brand awareness and actual sales, which again, brand awareness 
does help over the long term, I believe. But in this case, they chose someone who, I mean, it, this has nothing to do with the actual product, really. If you really want to find a good brand ambassador, I mean, there are plenty of YouTube stars who are camping enthusiasts, hunting enthusiasts, people who actually would use this product. And I don't think Stoop Dog would ever use this product. It is so bizarre. And again, long term, the company has been losing money. I think this was kind of the final nail in the coffin for the leadership team. Because again, Snoop Dogg is not cheap. He probably cost, I really wish they told us the fiscal amount or the impact, but he was a pretty penny. Oh, I should clarify, a vintage pretty penny since modern currency in the US for pennies are, it's a 99.99, I think it's three nines by now, 99.99% zinc and it's just copper plated, whereas vintage US currency is actually made out of precious metals and worth something. But regardless, is one of those instances where they took a risk. I mean, sometimes market campaign can knock it out of the park, look at Stanley, those little cups, going viral help them immensely. And sometimes a brand ambassador or a marketing campaign can not just save a company, can push to the stratosphere. But in this case, they chose someone who basically had nothing to do with Solo, or in this case, they actually, yeah, the Solo stove. So again, their sales didn't go up and it certainly is the business blunder of the day. Thank you everyone for taking the time to tune in today. Again, I'm trying to get to 4,000 subscribers by the end of January. So if you click that button, I greatly appreciate it. Also, leave a comment and thumbs up or thumbs down appropriately will give me some additional feedback on how I can make the show better and better. Also, and lastly, don't forget to take time to tell your family, tell your friends, tell your coworkers, heck, tell your enemies, tell anyone and everyone. Just stay safe and fight the good fight.